Yo, what's up guys? My name is AK13 and I'm here back with another tutorial. I know I haven't been here uploading uh, stuff for two months, but I'm back. We're here with a tutorial on how to make virtual loops like Foreign Gotham and Mike Dean. So here's how the sample sounds. Here's how the second part of the sample sounds. So yeah, moving on to the first instrument. It's just a pad. Uh, it's a pad from Analog Labs. Uh, I s highly suggest it. Uh, if you're trying to do like Mike Dean stuff or virtual stuff, the preset name is Honeymoon. Uh, I didn't really add any effects to it, just EQ. Then moving to the second instrument. I just copy and paste it from the first instrument to the second and uh, just added one extra note right here. Uh, I added the Q to filter out the lows and the third instrument is an arpeggio. I practically did the same. I copy and paste it from the first instrument and uh, just sliced it up and uh, manually put it into our RPG state. So yeah, uh, the preset name is Detuned Asia from the Semantics Vibes preset. And uh, this instrument is from uh, Analog Labs also, but hold up, it's loading, start. Wait, no, hold up. Uh, here we go. It's both world pad and keys. Uh, the preset name, yeah, it's both world pads. And moving on to the sequencer, it sounds like this. Uh, I, I added. Uh, effects only to this one reverb chorus eq to the rpg that i just added crystallizer uh, i added the uh, what's this called the slap reverse detune it gives like kind of a delay a delayed effect uh, moving on to the second part of the sample <laughs> So the first instrument changes right here. I uh, like top notes right here. Uh, moving on to the second instrument, I really only changed. Uh, the last two chords so instead of them like going like this I did extra notes at the top uh, when you add like extra notes at the top it makes the chord feel more dramatic and more full oh and by the way the whole sample is um, is in G sharp minor and uh, remember this because it will be later on really important and moving on to the vocal chops okay so how did I make those vocal chops right 
this is like the probably the the biggest question asked in this tutorial but uh let's go down here i basically just started recording um just a phrase that please break my head and my heart please break my head they gonna be my heart and my heart oops so yeah i just said the, the same phrase over and over and picked up uh, which one i like the most this is the same phrase but i tell you why it's different uh effect wise so yeah i just said here uh please break my hair heart and my head tonight right and then i just chopped it so it sounds like this yep be my be my head be my be my head be my be my head so yeah i just chopped it up the reason why these sound different is because uh, if you guys know what is throat length uh, from uh, autotune uh, i basically like decreased the throat length in the autotune i'll show it later right now i show it actually right now so yeah so i just chopped up the samples and then i added autotune to them uh so they're in the case so let's go over here autotune oh shit autotune uh remember i said the, the the sample is in g sharp minor so i go right here i put it in g sharp minor and there we go uh my vocals should be in key be my, be my. Uh, let me turn off the be my, be my head be my, be my head be my, be my head be my, be my. oh shit hold up my mistake so yeah be my, be my head, be my, be my head, be my, be my head. Be my, be my head. So yeah, it's in tune, and as I said, you can play um, with the throat length to achieve this like kind of Skrillex, uh, dubstep vocal chop type of stuff. I really fuck with it, especially when you pitch up the vocal. Be my, be my head, be my, be my head, be my, be my head. It doesn't really change the pitch of your vocal it just changes the way it sounds i guess if you can put it like that but um what's dope about it you can put an automation clip so it like kind of changes like right be now be 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 then later on other effects will just sound super super dope this like the sauce right here this is what they use in dubstep now uh as a producer you always have to innovate and experiment you know anyways uh, i have to remove this autotune because my cpu doesn't handle it well well and so my like the whole project uh just doesn't sit on the tempo i don't know why i guess it's the cpu issues but yeah so we come here uh, so i recorded all this into one uh file not one file into one export i just chopped it up and put it in one export and added uh reverb be my, be my, be my, be my. Mm, by the way i pitched it up uh by twelve thousand cents and recorded and exported it be my, be my, be my, be my. and i'm moving on to the chorus be my, be my, be my, be my. I don't know why, but I always love to add chorus. It just makes the the, the vocal chops like more fuller. Be my, be my, be my. Then I added the uh, spit fish in case like, uh, so it filters out the S sounds. By the way, here's another tip when recording vocal chops. Uh, I personally I tend to avoid like hard hitting letters like T, like H, <laughs> like S. Not S, S is just easily filtered, or most importantly, P, you know, that's, um, these kind of letters are very hard to filter out, and uh, they just don't sound very unpleasant, uh, even when the effects are added, you know, they leave like a trace, like unpleasable trace, and like the P, the H, uh, they give like unnecessary, like, low low eq type of stuff 
it's really hard to EQ everything. So I tend to just stick to the vowels like ah, oh. First of all, they sound very pl like melodic. They sound pleasant and um, it's really easy to stay in key with them, you know, because they're melodic and f after all, they're like, how to say, yeah, they're very melodic and very smooth. Um, anyways, moving on, add a, a bit of delay. Yeah, this a bit of delay, just a bit right here, you can see. And yeah, that's it. Oh, another tip, another tip. Uh, play with the panning, you know, play with the panning. I, I think I played with the panning right here. One vocal chops plays at your left ear, one vocal chops plays at your right ear, like here. Yeah, that's what I do right here. And uh, yeah. Moving on, I think we're done with the vocal chops. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments or DM me on Instagram. Follow my Instagram, by the way. Uh, and yeah, anyways, let's move on. Here I didn't really change nothing at all. Here I didn't really change nothing. It's just like the arpeggio flipped. The arpeggio, arpeggio, I don't care. Uh, just like select it all, press uh, and press Alt Y. And I said I flipped it. That's what I did here. Same with the sequence. I just went here, selected all Alt Y, and that's it. So it sounds different. So it stays interesting. Personally, I like being like variable in the loop. I don't like. Uh, just writing the melody, put it in the eight bar loop and that's it and call it a day. No, I'd like it to switch it up, but you know, sometimes they say simplicity is the key. So it's all up to you guys. Uh, you decide how to make it. And yeah, I guess this is it. The, this is like the end of the tutorial. All right. So I'm back. Um, I layered the drums, you know, they were already pre-layered uh before i did this video so yeah this is how it sounds this is how the sample sounds with the beat but my dumb ass forgot to add the the eight weights This is the end of the tutorial. I hope you guys liked it. Uh, I'm new to making videos. I'm new to making tutorials. If you're new, please subscribe. Uh, comment down below. So just like what improvements should I make on my tutorials? You know, uh, as I said before, I'm very new to this stuff. So.